Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last few videos, I have discussed what is a data science and what are the tasks involved in the data science. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to find a relationship between the data science and artificial intelligence. Several students will think that data science and artificial intelligence are synonyms. Some people will think that one is subset of another one and few more people think that there is no relationship between the data science and artificial intelligence. If you are thinking like that then you are absolutely wrong. So in this video and next few videos my object is to tell the actual relationship between the data science and artificial intelligence. Before discussing those relationships, first let me discuss what is an artificial intelligence and what are the tasks involved in the artificial intelligence. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. What is the standard definition of an artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is an intelligence demonstrated by missions or agents. We want to build an agent which demonstrate the intelligence. Am I right or wrong? Now, this is the standard definition. But does this definition tell us everything? No. But what is the task we will do in the artificial intelligence? In the data science, we will do several tasks such as collecting the data, storing the data, processing the data, describing the data and modeling of the data. Now, coming to the artificial intelligence, we will design an agent to solve the problem. So, we will do the problem solving, knowledge representation, reasoning, decision making. We want to design an agent to take the decisions. Am I right or wrong? Previously, we used to use the expert systems. Expert systems will give a certain rules if whatever the example we have taken, if all those rules, if it is satisfying, suppose let's take that whenever there is a cricket match is going on, whenever the bowler appeals for the LBW, when we are watching the cricket, we'll say that whether it is out or not out by looking at it. How we will say whether the ball hit in the, what you call the pads in line, whether it is hitting the wickets or it is pitched inside the line, all these three factors it will look at. If the ball pitched in the leg side, we will say that it is not out. So how we have said there are a rules to decide whether it is an LBW or not. Using those rules, we can say the reason or the result. But always the expert systems will not work whenever the rules are very complex. Okay. And we cannot represent the rules. Okay, and the rules are very large. If you have large number of rules and if the rules are very complex, we cannot go for the expert system. So nowadays we are going for the decision making. How we will do the decision making is with the help of large amount of data. Is it clear? Similarly, communication, how we will communicate with the agent with the help of the natural language processing because a robot should understand your language and also the robot should generate the language because whatever you are saying or whatever you are saying to the agent or to the robot it has to understand and again it has to generate the speech so that you will understand so you have to talk about the language generation and language understanding so these things will come into the natural language processing and perception will come into the computer vision am i right so this is natural language processing, this is computer vision and equitation, you have to perform the actions. You sometimes the robots need to perform the actions, am I right or wrong? So all these things we will do in the artificial intelligence such as problem solving. Suppose let's take that you have taken a maze, from starting you have to go to the end. So you want to design an agent which starts from the starting point and finally it has to go to the end point. Similarly, knowledge representation, how you will represent whether it should go to the left or it should go to the right. Whenever there is a some ladder is there, you have to go up. Whenever there is a snake, you will fall down. All these things we will represent and reasoning. If you have a snake, should we take the decision or not? All these things we will solve in the 
artificial intelligence so this is the standard definition of an artificial intelligence and these are the tasks involved in the artificial intelligence now let me discuss all these tasks in the coming videos then you will only understand the relationship between the data science and artificial intelligence if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day.